and welcome back guys to the sixth episode of my Nuzlocke challenge on the game Pokemon Diamond. I've actually just left the game pause there, so there we go. We get into it. Oh, if I click the clock, does my character look at his wrist there? He does too. That's cool. For all those who are wondering, it is actually 1.05 a.m. because this is when it's quietest in the house for me to record. Where we left off in the last episode, I was. I just evolved Nuzlocke, so we should easily be able to take on the gym, which we're about to do right now. And it occurs to me now that there's going to be trainers in that gym, which would have been useful experience and would have made our job of leveling him easier and easier. However, I guess I can now use those to level up other Pokemon we have, such as Mantis Games. Put Sedmon at the bottom there because he's quite useless. <laughs> if anyone disagrees that Sedmon is in fact useless, then just leave a comment about it because I will read it and I will get back to you and we can debate about why said mold is useless or not. So let's get into this first trainer match. One Pokemon, typical trainer, and level 10. I'm taking on with Mantis games, except that bug moves are not very effective against rock types for some odd reason. Well, overly the gym lead is that easy because just one hit outright. Go. Just raise the leaf it up. Critical hit. Doubt that mattered. Whoops, I actually meant to switch back into Mantis Games there to get the experience, but I'm guessing a little bit out it. Um I only lost four HP. I don't even think it's worth going back and healing that. I think we'll just take on the gym right here and now. What do you say? Yep. Thinking we're all good and ready for it. Welcome, this is the Allberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rock, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Well, they are pretty tough, of course. Like, they've been trained just at their limits, they're just all peaked in their performance. And I think you're in for a surprise here. Level 12 Geodude. So he's a little bit better than the trainers in the front of his gym so far. But I don't think he's going to be any competition for Nuzlocke. However, of course I would miss the 95 accuracy move. He goes for the Stealth Rocks, which for those of you who don't know, um, will deal damage to each Pokemon as I switch it into the battlefield. However, we won't be doing any switching this battle anyway, I wouldn't think. So, it really doesn't bother me in the slightest. We've got a critical hit there, but again, I really doubt that mattered. And Raise Leaf is a high critical chance anyway, so it's hardly lucky. Onyx. This looks like his big gun to try take out the big threat. Oh, quick claws activating there. Seems to be working quite a lot. That probably actually didn't matter too, because Onyx is somewhat fast. Another critical hit. Oh, too easy. And another one hit KO. Level 19. Too easy. Probably shouldn't whistle into the mic there. I'll have to listen to that back and hope that isn't too loud for you all. Kranidos. I actually don't even know what that is. But I guess may as well just leave it out. That looks somewhat like a dragon type, but I think it's just still a rock type, so I'm gonna go for a razor leaf. And it's faster than me, it's a bit of a worry. 
However, it did absolutely nothing. Just showing Nuzlocke's great defenses. And just one hit that as well. So, probably a bit over-leveled there. But, it's the first gym. Didn't want to get whited out that early in the game. So, this is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. Well, you are the first gym. I imagine anyone who came through here wouldn't have a gym badge. But, that's tough. You were strong, and I was weak. That's all there is. Sounds about right. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge. Yeah, you do. Here's uh, your official Pokemon League coal badge. Coal badge? Is this guy the cheapest person to walk the face of this planet? A coal badge. Really? Like, rock is nicer than coal. Just pick up a pebble or something. Coal badge. So he gives us the move Stealth Rock, which is somewhat useless, I guess. It's good in, well, it's amazing in competitive Wi Fi battles, which I dabble in a little bit, but I'm not all that good, so I tend to stay away from it. But uh, NPC trainers don't tend to switch much, so it's quite useless. Yes, we would like to rest our Pokemon after a hard day at the gym. <laughs> hope to see you again. It just occurred to me that they hope my Pokemon are constantly getting injured. That's somewhat... strange. Or cruel, either way. Um, as you can tell, I am somewhat favoriting Mantis games in this. But... That's mainly just because I love bug Pokemon. Never used to, but just I find they're really useful in these sorts of games now. And Thud. That must be like the fourth time Gary's run into me in this series already. I'm running out the sixth episode. Oops, Michael, you got the gym badge, huh? Eternity City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? I don't know. So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. You see, you're a bit slow, aren't you, Gary? You got here way before me, beat the gym just as I got here, and now you haven't even left yet. So, so I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the Eternal Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine, but oh, who's got time to count? I was just thinking the exact same thing. I was not going to count that. Um, we didn't actually check out any of these houses. Uh, I don't think they're really important, but I'll, I'll check it out anyway, just quickly give them a bit of a scouting. See if they got anything for me. No. No. Just fast forward this as well. No. Ah, oh, it's a lot of people in this house. Ah, oh, free dust ball. See? It's always nice. And this will be the last house I bother to look in. Ooh, what was that? I want to trade something for an Abra. Do you have a Pokemon called Marchop? No. However, if I had a Marchop, I think I would willingly trade it for an Abra. Because Abras are quite powerful. Well, Abras are useless as, but Kadabras can be quite powerful. All Pokemon have uh, Fast forward again. Does this guy want a Zubat? He gave me a heal ball because I had a Zubat. Well, I can honestly say that's the first time in any game I've ever been rewarded for having a Zubat. However, it's probably the first time in any game I've ever had a Zubat. I just find them somewhat terrible and tend not to use them. Okay, rock smash our way up here, see what we got. This still counts as the initial route that we killed the Geodude on, so sadly, I'm unable to catch this Psyduck. However, I will see how well Mantis Games does against him. Now for those of you who don't know, Fury Cutter's attack doubles with each successful hit, so... <coughs> it 
will start off quite weak, but eventually it will power through and destroy most things. Another Psyduck, which I would have liked to have caught, but oh well. This is playing out exactly the same as the last one. Yeah, too easy. Well, Sedmold's finally found his use. Breaking rocks. And probably with his head, because he only has short little stubby feet. So that'll be helping his usefulness. She's in a trainer. She just tells me that you can jump that if you're on a bicycle. Which I'd have probably guessed anyway, because it does look... Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. It does look surprisingly like a bike jump. Stardust, I believe I can sell that to a storekeeper and make some profit. I thought there might have been something down here, but I appear to be wrong. We have nothing else good against... Ah, uh, yeah, just throwing a lock. I might start getting up that Geodude too, actually, because I never actually used a Geodude in any Pokemon playthrough, I don't think. Which, I'm not really sure why. I mean, Geodude's a pretty cool Pokemon. So, may as well make this the first. At least until we can find something to replace him with. Which, as long as we have that Zubat on our team, he's there for ages. Do we even need a heal? No, we actually don't. So, let's go back out of here. And I think this will be the way we need to go. And what is this? <sighs> show them some manners, if you will. I'd love to show them manners. Now, firstly, you say please and thank you, because that's just common courtesy. Did I just say courtesy? Like I did. Well, I meant courtesy. And s suddenly they're battling me. See, at least say thank. At least ask please for the battle, and then say thank you afterwards. Now, bug moves are bad against both Wurmples and Zubats. So, I'm thinking I'll switch into Mr. Zoloft and he'll easily be able to take out that Wurmple and that Zubat. And actually switched into the Astonish there, which is a ghost type move and does not affect Mr. Zoloff because he's part normal type. So, even better. It's just a win-win. One hit KO with that wing attack, as was expected. As Mr. Zoloff doesn't play games, unlike Mantis games. And they're both leveled up. Oh, too easy. Zoloff getting quite decent attack stats there. Speed this up a little bit. There's no just midway speed. It's either really fast or quite slow. It's somewhat annoying, but I'll have to deal with it. Okay. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. Oh gee, what a horrible option. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. We shall leave. Righto. That lot, they call themselves Team Galactic. They're actually just really big fans of Star Wars, and that was their poor attempt at drone costumes. Not drone, clone costumes. My bad there. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be trying to use that power for something. Anyway, Michael, well done. You yeah, you battle quite capably. The sight of you trainers and Pokemon battling together. I made the right decision in entrusting you with a Pokedex. Well, not really. I'm only going to catch one Pokemon per route, if that. So, you're going to luck out a bit there, Rowan. It's really just all up to dawn for Pokedex things. And what does this guy want? 
Oh, that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilife TV. Oh, of course you are. I'd like you to have something... I'd like you to have something for letting me see that smashing battle. You're just standing over there. I mean, it's a bit creepy, really. Just standing in the corner, watching what I'm doing from a distance. And then giving me a fashion case afterwards. Like, what, well, you want me to dress up in this frilly little gown so you can just watch me from afar still? Somewhat creepy, and I'm never going to touch that fashion case. So... It appears to have been almost 16 minutes by this point. So, I'm thinking we'll end it on catching a new Pokemon up in this newest route. So, let's see how we go. Actually, is this still... Oh no, it is. Okay, I'll come up this way then. And there's a trainer here. Oh, okay, there's a couple of trainers here. I guess we'll just end the episode there then. And you'll have to tune in to the next episode to find out what we catch next. And just remember, if you want your name shown in this playthrough, you have to be one of the first 10 subscribers and I'll nickname a Pokemon after you. I currently have 8 subscribers, so there's only 2 left, so get in fast. So, remember guys, if you like the video, like and leave a comment, and if you really like the video, subscribe. See us.